Hello everyone, my name is John Montoya with Trimble Construction Support. Today we are going to be going over a new feature in Trimble Business Center 5.7 that allows you now to view site balance factors and volume grid properties for a surface. Let's begin with toggling over to the Surfaces tab. Next you will select Volume Grid. Let's go ahead and name this one Demo. One initial surface we will set to Clark Drive. Final, let's go ahead and set this to finish design. Um, we'll leave the grid spacing set at 10 for now. Once you've filled that out, you're going to go ahead and select apply. You'll now see that it gives you results. Um, basically, it's going to give you the name, the cut volume the cut area, the fill volume, fill area, and the net volume. So now if we go over here and select that, we'll now see once it's selected in the properties pan, it'll give you the approximate balance amount, which is the vertical distance to move either the existing or design surface to balance the cut fill volumes. And it will also give you now the approximate Volume de delta per tenth unit. This is the volumetric change in either surface. If either surface is raised or lowered a tenth of the project distance unit. All right, let's go ahead and offset this surface. So we will use the finished design as our reference surface. We will now create a new surface and we will offset it that 56 hundredths to balance the site. Go ahead and select OK. Now we can go over here on the volume grid icon. Let's go ahead and name this demo 2. So the initial will be Clark Drive and the final will be demo. Uh, we'll leave the grid spacing at 10. Go ahead and select apply. And now we can toggle this one off. And we will go ahead and toggle on demo 2. And as you can see now, the site is now balanced. So that concludes today's demonstration on TBC 5.7's new feature of adding cut fill balance info to a surface volume grid and actually balancing that site. Thank you.